auto encoders so auto encoders are a type of neural network which is designed to learn compact and useful representations of data they work by compressing the input data into a lower dimension that is the encoded representation and then reconstruct the original input from this encoded representation in doing so auto encoders learn to identify the essential features of the data while suppressing the less relevant information so imagine the auto encoder as a comprehension machine for data so it uh, works by first compressing the data like a book into a concise summary like the main points of the book then it reconstructs the original book from the summary or the main points of the book so by doing this the encoder learn to extract the most important information from data and discard the less important details there are different types of auto encoders but the core idea remains the same that is learning a compact representation of input data through encoding and decoding processes auto encoders are widely used in various applications such as image compression anomaly detection dimensionality reduction and generative models so how do auto encoders work so it works by following a simple methodology in which first is the encoding that is the input data is far first passed through a encoding process which maps this high dimensional input to low dimensional or the encoded representation so this encoded process typically involves a sequence of neural network layers then comes the decoding so this encoded representation is then passed through a decoding process which reconstructs the original input from this encoded representation so that decoding process also involves a sequence of neural network layers then comes the training so the auto encoder is trained by minimizing the difference between original input and reconstructed output during training the network learns to identify the most important features of the data while suppressing the less relevant information to understand this better imagine a simple example of auto encoder for compressing images so the image will first pass through an encoder which will reduce its dimensions and discard the less important details so this encoded representation is then passed through a decoder which attempts to reconstruct the original image from this encoded representation and the auto encoder is trained by minimizing this difference between the original image and the reconstructed image in essence this auto encoder learns to compress data into a lower dimensional space while still being able to reconstruct the original data this allows them to identify the most important features of data making them useful for various applications such as dimensionality reduction anomaly detection and generative models next how to calculate this auto encoder by hand so the auto encoder model is the basis for training foundational models from a ton of data we are talking about tens of billions of training examples like a good portion of the internet so with that much data it's not economically feasible to hire humans to label all of those data to tell a model what its target are so thus people came up with a very clever idea to drive this training targets from this training example themselves automatically and the most straight forward idea is to just use the training data itself as a target and this hands on exercise will uh, demonstrate this idea then people tried hiding some parts of training data using those missing parts as a target which is called masking this is how llms are trained these days then people tried pairing up each text and images using each other as target which is called contrastive learning this is the see in the famous clip model from open ai which is the basis of multi model foundational models so we'll start with auto encoder here so uh, let us consider this network architecture has encoder which is a linear relu linear relu right then it has decoder consider linear and relu so walk through uh, first we have given a four training examples x1 x2 x3 x4 then we will copy the training examples to the targets here the purpose is to train the network to reconstruct the training examples since each target is a training example itself we use the greek word auto which means self this crucial step is what makes the auto encoder auto in co in the encoder part we have layer plus relu 
why we are saying so because we know the popular formula of this y that is equals to w x plus b here if we consider the number of columns 3 plus 5 here the number of rows are 4 so we will uh, multiply this uh, element wise 1 uh, we will take up to this part right so if we consider here so we will take up to this this shall be multiplied uh, with this whole matrix here so first we will take example of 1001 multiply this with uh, 1 2 3 1 adding the zero bias here we will get 2 here right next we will uh, go for this one 1 1 2 1 multiply this we will get next element adding the bias here so this way we will get this matrix here uh, then we will multiply both this same way here number of uh, rows are 3 here number of columns are 4 consider this as a bias here so multiply 101 with 251 adding 0 bias here we will get the 3 here right uh, now we know that we are using the ReLU here so in this ReLU the negative term should be considered as a 0 so this minus 1 it should become the 0 here right so next we will do the same thing for the decoder which has the 1 plus ReLU, multiply the features with the weights and biases, apply ReLU, crossing out negative functions. So the decoder layer 2, here also multiply features with the weights and the output Y are the decoders attempt to reconcile the training examples. So here also we have got the things like this, right? So here consider the number of uh, columns are 3, number of rows are so multiply 1, 0 with 3, 3, adding bias here, we will get this matrix. Here also, uh, number of columns are 3, here number of rows are uh, this much. So multiply 3, 4, 0 with 1, uh, 0, minus 1, adding bias here. We'll get the output like this. Now we have got this output. We will have to consider this loss gradient and back propagation, that is, we need the reconstruction loss. So calculate the gradients of mean square error loss between the output, so the formula is twice of this y minus y dash. So first we calculate this y minus y dash and then we multiply it by the 2 here as shown here, right? So this gradients will kick off the back propagation. So this mi uh, minus this one, 3 minus 1 it's 2 here, like 1 minus 1 is 0 here. So we'll get the matrix this much and then we will twice this matrix. Next comes the applications of autoencoders. So these autoencoders have a wide range of applications due to their ability to identify uh, the essential features of data and their effectiveness in compression and reconstructing data. Some of the key applications include image compression. So autoencoders can be used to compress images by learning a compact representation of image data. The encoded representation can then be used to reconstruct the original image resulting in a smaller file size without significant loss of quality. Second comes the anomaly detection. So the autoencoders can be used to detect anomalies in data by training an autoencoder to reconstruct the normal input. So when presented with anomalous data, the autoencoder will have difficulty reconstructing it, indicating the presence of anomaly which makes autoencoder useful for detecting fraud, cybersecurity threats and other unusual events. Third comes the dimensionality reduction. So the autoencoders can be used to reduce the dimensionality of high dimensional data while retaining the most important information, which makes the data easier to visualize, analyze and use for further analysis such as clustering and classification. Next is uh, generative models. So the autoencoders can be used as the basis for generative models such as variational autoencoders and generative adversarial networks. And these generative models can be used to generate new realistic samples similar to the training data, which has applications in computer graphics, image synthesis and text generation. Then comes the recommender system. So autoencoders can be used to build recommender system by learning latent representation of users and items. So by identifying the essential features of users and items, autoencoders can make personalized recommendations based on user preferences. Then comes time series forecasting. So autoencoders can be used to model and forecast the time series uh, data by learning the underlying pattern and trends in the data, which makes autoencoder useful for predict stock price, weather patterns and other time dependent phenomena. 
and last is a text generation so auto encoders can be used to generate new text by learning the underlying patterns in text data which makes auto encoders useful for applications like language translation text summarization and generating creative writing prompts so these are just a few examples of many applications of auto encoders their ability to identify essential features compress data and reconstruct information makes them a versatile tool for various fields including computer vision natural language processing and signal processing thank you